Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be comparing two of my watches. One is by Cartier and another one is by Chopin. So without further ado, let's get started. Keep watching till the end of this video. I wouldn't want you to miss any valuable information that I might provide at the end of this video. So I've created a list of parameters uh, so it's easier to compare these watches and these parameters are uh, something that I would consider before buying or choosing any particular watch. So the first parameter would be a brand preference. So it all comes down to which uh, brand aesthetics you prefer more, which you admire more. As we know, Chopin and Cartier both are equally famous for their quality, for uh, their jewelry and watches and accessories. I conducted a little research uh, for this video, so I wanted to gather more information about uh, each brand. I've always thought that Chopin was a French brand, uh, but it was actually founded in Switzerland. So both brands are from the 19th century. They both have great recognition and uh, history behind their names. Uh, the quality of their pieces are equally outstanding. So in this case, uh, the quality is not an objective in choosing this watch because both are of great quality and um, it just comes down to which brand you admire more. So in terms of style and the design of these two watches, um, so here is the close-up of the Cartier Panther. Uh, it's very thin. So mine is in small size. This is a combination of yellow gold and stainless steel. I love this watch because it's very thin, very dainty and it's very easy to wear. Um, I love the clasp of it. Um, so here is the Chopin watch. As you can see, if I were to compare the sizes, Chopin is a lot bigger. Mine is in a stainless steel version with a black strap and both watches actually come in a variety of different options. So you can choose from uh, starting from stainless steel to plain gold and with or without diamonds. I find that having a leather strap uh, gives you more options to change the look of your watch entirely if you at some point might get tired of uh, the, the strap you already have. In terms of comfort of wearing these watches, I must say that at the very moment uh, Cartier is the one I lean towards because it's, it's smaller and I love how light it is but if you prefer bigger watches i think that Chopin could potentially tick all of your boxes both watches have a quartz movement which means they need battery as a power source and i actually like this because i need to change a battery in my watch um, probably once in two or three years and they're not very expensive. And the last but not least, I want to mention that I love to stack my watches with other pieces of jewelry. I find that the Cartier watch stacks a lot more organically with other jewelry just because it has metal straps and it looks like a jewelry piece on itself, uh, which actually was the idea behind creating this watch. So Cartier wanted to combine functionality and beauty of a jewelry piece and here is the stack I have for today's video. Uh, this is a bracelet by Cartier, just include in a slimmer version. And here is the classic bracelet by Van Cleef & Arpels. This is the five motif uh, vintage Alhambra jewelry with mother of pearl and yellow gold. And I would say that this stack uh, looks very iconic. I, not necessarily unique or personal because I've seen this combination on lots of people. I would be happy to add something a little more personal into this stack but at the moment I have what I have and with Chopin I find it a little harder for me to achieve that organic looking stack and the reason behind it maybe is because I don't have any suitable jewelry to go to match uh, with my uh, Chopin watch and despite that I think that this watch looks great on its own it's substantial it's very solid I might say that it doesn't need a companion on your wrist and also guys what do you think about the shade of my lipstick in this video I think that it suits me very well. I hope so. I got it as a gift from my aunt. She does an amazing job when it comes to choosing a shade of lipstick for me. So this is the second lipstick she is gifting to me. And this one is by Guerlain. It's called Blossom Kiss uh, shade number one, two, 
9 if you can see it's this beautiful pinky shade i think very refreshing for spring and it was i was so happy to receive this as a gift because just a couple days before i was I was saying to my husband that I need a uh, pink lipstick for spring just to lift the mood because we're all very tired of winter and yeah that's just out of topic just wanted to share a very little detail uh, from my life so that's it guys I hope you've enjoyed watching this video I'll be very happy to answer any of your questions uh, related to this video or not so leave your comments down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I hope to see you next time bye bye take care